Okay, we got three days left in the uh, Virginia turkey season, and it's been one of those mornings and run a little bit behind. I was hoping to get there uh, by about 5.30. It's not going to happen, so we're going to get over as quick as we can. And we're going back to uh, the second location we went to, not the WMA, but the second uh, spot we had selected on National Forest. And actually, clear and cold this morning. It's in the 30s. had a frost. So... Uh, I don't know if the bird's gonna be vocal today or not, but we gotta, you know, get over there, try to get set up on where we found the most scratch sign, and uh, you know, hopefully today will be the day. So we'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, we're on National Forest. We only got three days left in the turkey season, and I came back to the National Forest. I didn't go back to the WMA because there's a lot of pressure there. And then there was another location I went to, tremendous amount of pressure there too. That was the place I went to where I had two locations and there was someone in my spot both uh, both times. And I had left the campground at 4.30. So I came back to a spot that it doesn't have a lot of sign, but I haven't seen a hunter yet. So uh, I'm running late this morning, so I gotta get with it. So we're gonna get up here and try to get set up and you know maybe our luck will change. Okay, this is the second setup. It's about 8.55 and I haven't heard anything. So, so I'm just gonna keep sitting up on these ridges. There's another bench. I set up on a bench this, earlier this morning. 7.30 to about 8.15 and uh, moved a couple hundred yards and set up on this one so we're going to call a little bit sit here for 30 to 45 minutes and just keep moving
Okay, uh, we've been sitting in here for about an hour now. I'm probably a little over two miles deep in National Forest. And, you know, I could be hunting the fringes, you know, go in and scout areas of public land that are adjacent to the private land. And then, you know, you get kind of get a mix. You kind of get a mix of animals that, you know, are on the private coming over to public. But my goal was to come into National Forest, look at the topography, you know, drop a few pins, come in, do some scouting, and, and find some birds. Now, we've seen three birds out of today is the, this is actually the seventh hunt I've had in Virginia in three different locations two jakes and a hen but in reality uh, really haven't heard any goblin to speak of it's a learning curve trying to find the areas in the national forest of public land game lands whatever your state calls it and locating the areas on the national forest or public land that hold the densest population of, of birds or deer uh, and you know in this case turkeys so it it's one of those situations where you just have to keep going in and working at it this is probably one area that I won't come back to to hunt turkeys now it may be I've seen some decent amount of uh, deer sign in here old rubs and things like that so maybe for deer hunting but I came back in here today it's been two weeks since I've been in here been hunting other areas and the, the turkey sign's gone so and it was a small amount to begin with and I came in here primarily because of no pressure. It's just so hard to get back in here and very few people are going to hike in in the mountains two miles you know and there's a peak up here it's a little over 4,000 feet that I've got to hike back up so you know once again I'm learning uh, these new areas in Virginia and once I find an area that has you know a decent population of birds and I try to use the data that the Virginia Wildlife has on their web page to find the counties with the densest population but sometimes that can be a little misleading if you know a high percentage of the birds are harvested on private land and they're not harvested on public land and that's why a lot of people when they hunt public land they hunt right adjacent to the private because the private's been developed it's got crop lands on it you know fields uh, different type of food sources it's got the edge that you know a lot of animals like so there's a lot of reasons to do that but my goal was to come in, in the middle of the national forest find a find some birds and try to harvest one so we got two days left uh, we're not throwing in the towel just yet but it's just one of those things i think it's a learning curve and you know we're still learning so uh i hope you enjoyed this this is uh the seventh day hunt and we're going to close it out on that See you next time. Okay, here we go again. Uh, we got two days left in the Virginia turkey season. And I'm going to a different location, not going back to where I went yesterday. The sign there basically had dried up, so we're going to try another area. And, you know, we're basically scouting and hunting at the same time since we've never hunted for turkeys in Virginia, so we're just trying to get on the birds. Uh, the weather looks decent today it's 41 this morning so it's not quite as cold as it was yesterday so there's no frost which i like but uh, it's going to get in about the mid 50s i think today but there is a slight chance of rain during the middle part of the day so we're going to ease up there and uh, hopefully lord willing we'll get on some birds in a different county and a different uh <laughs> national forest so we'll see what happens finally made it in here there's a national forest gate I don't know if you can see it right over there. So we're going to follow the access road in, look at our topo map, do some calling, looking for the same thing, acorn scratch sign. Hopefully we'll get some birds to gobble. If not, then we'll use the topography set up on benches and places that uh, we feel like are good strut zones. And hopefully we'll call a bird in and shoot it. Okay, I'm working my way back down out of this national forest. I probably hiked about three miles this morning, going in and out hollers, uh, trying to find different areas where there might be some scratch sign. I've called you know, every, about every hundred yards 
haven't found any scratch sign, and haven't heard any birds uh, respond. So uh, maybe the data, the data that I'm looking at is a little misleading. So I'm gonna leave this part of the National Forest and go to the, the next spot. Fortunately, the weather's great today, it's clear. It was about 41 this morning, nice and cool. And uh, it's gonna get in the 50s, I think, today. Feels like it's gonna get warmer than that. So we only got two days left. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, to get a bird in Virginia, but like I said, it's a learning, it's a learning process. So I'm, I'm trying to uh, ramp up the learning curve a little bit, find the best areas and eliminate some of the other ones. And I've already eliminated one that uh, definitely won't be used for turkey hunting, but uh, we'll just keep at it and we'll keep scouting. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to these places I've never been before, scouting for sign. If I see something good that I can set up on it, and then, uh, you know, I'm more optimistic about getting a bird. But, you know, honestly, in all the areas I've hunted, I've only heard that one gobble, seen two jakes. So it's been uh, uh, fairly disappointing. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there that's had great success. So by no stretch of the imagination does that mean Virginia doesn't have any birds. I've got plenty of birds. It's just maybe I need to brush up on my turkey hunting tactics. So, uh, you know, I'm going to take it on the chin. Just uh, keep working hard. Keep trying to be diligent about it keep going to these different places and you know maybe eventually I will find a group of birds.